So I'm here with State Senator Adam Hines, who is also a Democrat running for lieutenant governor. Explain your district, because yeah. you got practically, what, every western well, Massachusetts county in it, it except Hamden. That's right. It's it's the biggest uh, district in the state legislature. It, it's the 52 westernmost uh, municipalities. It's called the Berkshire, Hampshire, Franklin, and Hamden district. So I have two towns in the northwest co uh, corner. Um, and uh, it's the size of Rhode Island. It's, it's literally uh, square miles. It's a little bit bigger than Rhode Island, which isn't saying much, but it's, uh, it's the biggest district in the, in the legislature. So why do you want to be a lieutenant governor? Thanks. Uh, you know, we're, we're exploring a run right now, um, and so we've been spending the summer putting a team together to take a good look at it. Um, I'll, I'll say what it feels like is this moment when we've, we've now been going through a pandemic, we've been looking at everything that's been, been wrong in our economy that, that shows that folks who are making $40,000 are left with the first hit and they're the longest impacted. Um, challenges related to health care and the disparate impact of the health uh, of the pandemic itself, it's a big moment. And, and at the same time, we have tremendous opportunities to, to come back, be build back better and really reimagine a lot of our institutions. We have a lot of federal money. We have state surpluses. We can do something about this right now and, and make sure that we're a stronger Commonwealth. So it feels like the moment to um, to, to join the executive and and, uh, and kind of have a, a bigger impact. Um, and so I'm looking forward to the opportunity should we go in that direction. Okay, so right now you folks in the Senate and the House and the Baker administration are debating about ARPA funds. Yeah. Where should money be spent? Yeah. How should it be spent? So obviously... The next administration, whoever they might be, are still going to be dealing with the economic fallout from the pandemic. Yeah, that's right. Are still going to be probably making sure that those ARPA funds are going toward projects that really do reinforce public health infrastructure. Yeah. Yeah. What do you see as the as the priorities that we really should be addressing at yeah. this time? So the, the, the bad news is there are some sectors that are that were hit really hard. Think about your restaurants and, and um, you know, our arts and culture where we've been impacted. Um, so that's one piece is we need to make sure that the sectors that are still going to have problems if we have continue to confront Delta and other variants, um, that's one area of focus. I think the other is that there's a real opportunity that we've seen, obviously healthcare and doubling down in our, who we are, what we represent as a commonwealth in terms of, um, you know, Guess what? It's not a coincidence that one of the vaccines was created here in Massachusetts. I mean, that's a result of literally billions of dollars of investment by the Commonwealth and beyond. So I think doubling down on our strengths there. Um, I would say that, that some of the big issues, um, child care has come up a lot in, in the Senate. I, I'm, I'm chairing a committee on reimagining mass post-COVID resilience. But child care is something that employers and employees alike say, hey, if I'm going to be working more at home, what am I going to be doing with my kids? Or... Um, if if uh, if we have employers that are that we want to get back into the workforce, you know, let's make sure their their needs are taken care of at home. And by the way, it was a broken system before the pandemic. It was really expensive and inaccessible and beyond. And so, um, there's a long menu that that relates to how we get our working families families the help they need and, and get our small businesses the support they need as well. So, um, uh, a lot of a lot of big issues. And those issues are just not now. They're going to extend. For the next few years, obviously. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And so, in, interestingly, I mean, are we going to see a shift in, in behaviors in our workforce, in our downtowns? Um, it's, it's a big question of the future of work as well. Do we need to um, emphasize workforce training in certain areas of the economy and not others? Um, and, and then make sure we have the education system that, that is supporting it, be it community colleges or vocational schools or encouraging early college. There's, there's just a, a lot of kind of rethinking of how we've um, how we've funded our, our, our institutions and, and what we can do to redesign them now. Excellent. Senator, thank you so much for coming for by. And if you ultimately decide to be a candidate, we're going to be covering you. We'll, we'll let you know for sure. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you so Take much, care. sir. I appreciate yeah. it.